Welcome to the Creating Intelligent Agents for Absence demo. In this demo, you will learn how to create a customized automatic message that is sent to students who reach a specific number of absences in your course. At the end of this demo, students who have missed too many days will receive a warning from you. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. Under the Course Tools drop-down menu, click on the Intelligent Agents link. Click the New button. In the Agent Name field, create a name for the agent and check the Agent is Enabled checkbox. Example, identify students not logging into the course. Under Agent Criteria, you have two sets of options login activity and course activity. Login activity means logging into D2L Brightspace. Course activity means entering into your course. In the course activity area, check the box for take action when the following course activity criteria are satisfied. Then in the first field, user has not accessed course for at least blank days. Enter in the number of continuous days the student can be inactive before getting notified. Example, seven days. In the agent action area, choose take action only the first time if you want the students to receive the notification once or choose take action every time if you want the student to receive the notification every time they meet the criteria. Be careful with this one, as the students might get a notification at 7 days absent, 8 days absent, and 9 days absent, etc. If you want to set this up to run on a specific date, or to run daily, weekly, or monthly, check the box to use the calendar. Click the Update Calendar button. Choose the frequency for how often you want the system to check for this criterion. Example, repeat weekly, every one week, repeating on Mondays, starting the fifth day of class, ending on the third week of class. Note, make sure that the end date is prior to or the last date of your course. If not, the students will receive your message when they stop coming into your course after the semester ends. Click the Update button. In the To field, we want this notification to go to the students who are absent. If you click on the What Special Email Address Can I Use? link below the BCC field, you will see a few choices. Copy the one for initiating user, including the brackets. Close the window and paste it into the To field. In the CC field, you may want to put your email address so that you receive the notification also. In the subject field, type in the subject for your message. Example, you have been absent from the course. If you click on the what replacement strings can I use in the subject and message link, you have a few choices. Copy the org unit name and paste it where we typed the course. This substitutes the words the course with the actual name of the course. In the message area, type in the message you want to email to the student. Example, Dear student, I noticed you have not been in the course lately. Please contact me immediately. If you continue to miss classes, you will be removed from the course. 555 555 555
five 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 five. Sincerely, your name. Now, to personalize the message, we will replace some of the words. Click again on the what replacement strings can I use in the subject and message link. Copy initiating user first name. and paste it over student. Then paste it again and change the word first to last. Click on the what replacement strings can I use in the subject and message link again and copy the org unit name and place it in both places over this course. Click the save and close button when you are finished. If you want the intelligent agent to run immediately Click the drop down arrow beside the agent name and then click Run Agent Now. And then click Run. Then click Done. Note Because all the intelligent agent emails for the school are sent from one email address, if the student's mailbox is full, the intelligent agent email will not bounce back to your email account you will not be notified that the students did not receive it. Notice the last run date column to see when the last time each agent run. Notice the disable icon next to the agents that are disabled. For the agent to run you will need to enable them. You can do this by checking the box next to its name and clicking the enable icon at the top of the column. You have now successfully created an intelligent agent. It is always a smart idea to disable your agents at the end of the semester.